the art of hairstyling is pretty cool when you dive deeper into it you know it's kind of like uh, you know a makeup artist has to look at your face and be able to match the tone see what's gonna look good on your skin same thing with a hairstylist they have to take a look at the shape of your face your style and how you wear clothes as well to figure out what's gonna look good on you Okay. I would describe braiding and styling hair as a form of art. It takes a lot of skill and talent and definitely passion. It's definitely art. We've all gone to get our hair done at some point in time and walked out and not like what it is. And I think that's indicative of a stylist who's not truly an artist and is just doing the style that somebody requests. Because I'll I, I have stuff that I post to Sky sometimes. She's like, oh, I don't know about that. And I know she means, nah, that's not going to work for you. But if you're an artist as a stylist, that's a talent that you've got to be able to have is to know what's going to look good on your client. The first time I went to the beauty salon, I was little. And my mom actually took me to get a perm. And it's actually funny because I went to a school, it was a private school, but it was black owned and run. But they only liked for the girls' hairstyles to be in certain ways. So she ended up having to go and, and put a perm in my head just to be able to manage it. We got to the point where we wanted to take the perm out of my hair and go completely natural. So I found a natural salon in Riverdale and found a stylist that could do my hair naturally, help me transition and, and get it back healthy. And uh, so that's kind of been my journey with hair salons. You want it right here or higher? It's gonna be a teeny higher, because I like to be able to see it in pictures. Okay. Yeah, so like that's right. going to be perfect right there. Okay. Yeah. So I found Sky actually through Instagram, and she's just really talented. And all her styles look amazing. I started going to her. She does a great job. She's efficient to the point where I, I trust her so much that sometimes I'll give her an idea of, I kind of want the style to look like this, but then I completely let her freestyle the little details and everything. A lot of my more entertaining styles are when I come in and I tell Sky, hey, just have fun and do what you want to do something like this one again, but it, it can be left, you know, you can do it to your left and the back. Yeah. There's a lot that goes into figuring out what style we're gonna do. Typically, I would have my clients give me a reference as to what they're going for, and then I can either replicate it or I'll just come up with my own design in my head, like we're doing today. My inspiration for my hairstyles comes from all over the place, and it changes every couple of years. So when I first started on the LPGA tour, I wanted a style that I could wear for a couple weeks and not have to worry about doing it on the road, because doing my hair takes a long time. So I started with twists, but I also realized that with the heat and traveling and sweating, the twists don't last as long at the root. And that's when I started trying to find a stylist who was great at braid styles. But when I get to the golf course, when I like my hairstyle, I like the outfit I'm wearing, I feel good. I feel like I've showed up here today to do business and I'm ready to tackle the objective at hand. And so fashion and my hairstyle plays a huge role in just making me feel good about myself. And golf is such a mental game that, you know, feeling good and happy with yourself is, is important. I feel like if The Rock were to give you a, a wake up message every day, you just go attack it. <laughs> Like he does life the fun way. Yeah. But also the dedicated way. Never let anybody, you know, make you feel like you have to wear your hair a certain way to appease an image or to be professional because I have a lot of fun with my hair, but it's still always neat and I know for a fact that it still always looks good and all it takes is a couple people kind of popping out and, and showcasing different things and then it doesn't look so different. It doesn't look so out of the ordinary anymore. You know, to everybody to just love their hair, wear it how they want and exude that confidence and know that you still are professional. You're still mastering your craft and you can do that in, in any way you please. All right. All right, thanks, folks. No problem. I'll catch you in a couple weeks. Yes, ma'am. All, right. All right, we'll do that. All right. All right.